The key to making a good pizza is all about the fresh ingredients. So tonight we're going to make pizza on the barbecue. Hot stones, cooking away, fresh dough, fresh ingredients, thin crust, beautifully cooked on a barbecue. It's easy. It's not quite a taste of Italy, but it's as close as we're going to get in these days. This is Cooking with Dave. <laughs> Part of the technique in making a uh, homemade Italian pizza involves getting the dough to room temperature, then rolling it out quickly, aerating it, and then we throw it on the pizza peel. But before we put it on the pizza peel, we dust the pizza peel with some semolina flour. Now I also sprinkle in just a tiny bit of uh, cornmeal as well, just to give it a little bit of a crunch or crunch, I don't know if that's a thing, on the outside of the crust when it cooks. It'll also help it slide off the wooden peel and onto the cooking, uh, cooking stones in the barbecue. Now, you don't have a lot of time when you do this, so you put the dough rolled out on the pizza peel, add your sauce, your meats, your vegetable, your cheese, whatever you're going to put on there, and you do it generally in a light fashion because uh, the crust is going to be really thin. You need to keep it light so it easily slides off. This isn't one of these pizzas where you load it up like... Uh, like dominoes and you uh, you know love the toppings it's the thin crust the thin crust delicate ingredients cooked uh, just beautifully on an open barbecue so that's the technique and it involves moving really fast so I don't know how the heck I'm gonna capture all this on film but it'll be an adventure you might just see the after and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good <laughs> So first step is heat the barbecue. Now you got to be careful that you don't overheat the barbecue, uh, which is what I just did. Uh, I think we're now pushing like seven or eight hundred degrees. Not a good idea. Not when you're making anything, especially not pizza. So we're going to let it cool down a little bit. Uh, the pizza stones are warming up. It's all going to be fine. You've got lots of time. In these tricky cooking scenarios, there's really only one solution. It's time for a cocktail. So it's a super warm summer day. We got time on our hands now and it's cocktail time. There's only one cocktail you want to make in a day like this when we're about to cook fresh Italian pizzas on the barbecue. And that is an Aperol Spritz. An Aperol Spritz is about the easiest cocktail you could ever make. It's one part Prosecco, one part Aperol, lots of ice, top it with club soda. Easy peasy. Like that, you've got a delicious drink, throw in a slice of orange, you can sit all afternoon while the barbecue cools down and get ready to cook. And it's the perfect uh, early evening drink. It reminds me of Italy, boy. Which sure would be nice to be back in Italy.
Well, that's pretty much it. We had uh, four different pizzas we turned out with a whole range of ingredients. Every one of them was delicious. Like I said, at about 400 degrees, it took 10 minutes to make. It was a, it was a slam dunk dinner. And of course, it was nice to sit on the patio and have a few uh, Aperol spritzes to sort of wrap up the afternoon. Boy, Italian food, uh, good wine, nice cocktail. You know, there's lots of things going bad at this uh, COVID time, but uh, you can come up with stuff at home that uh, makes all the difference. So uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for joining me. If you, uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, subscribe, click the notification, the little bell. Uh, it'll let you know when I post another video. And as always, thank you so much for, uh, for taking a peek at what I'm up to uh, in my free time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.